When the guns of World War I fell silent on the Western Front in November 1918, it was the moment for US President Woodrow Wilson to speak his mind. Wilson wanted nations in Eastern Europe and elsewhere to become independent, and he was a prime mover in spreading the idea of nationalism. National movements in Asia and in the rest of the world now achieved almost universal success. The Earth's entire land area became covered by national states. This rearrangement of our globe has excluded many smaller societies, and such small societies are often treated badly by the majority. They produce little significant writing or literature, yet they are important in the history of human religions, and their spiritual experience is often profound. Many of the smaller peoples of the world still exist by hunting and gathering. Others are agricultural and pastoral peoples. Surrounded by powerful industrial and often technological societies, these smaller peoples are threatened with extinction or assimilation as they lose the land that provides their means of living. Small societies also hold special clues about many phases of the human past. Before cities grew up about 5,000 years ago, in the Middle Eastern regions that are now Egypt, Iraq and Syria, most of humanity lived in ways resembling those of today's smaller, non-literate cultures. This was a time before agriculture had advanced enough for farmers to produce the surpluses that are necessary for cities to exist. There are relatively few small society groups in Europe and in the Near East because Christianity and Islam have so thoroughly dominated these areas since ancient times.